uh-oh, this may not be too good for Amy Cloudboot Jar. Uh, she did a CNN Town Hall, and uh, it looks like she's had her, you know, please clap moment. So as you guys all recall, uh, Jeb Bush had his famous, you know, please clap moment where he was, you know, asking people to clap. And it was very embarrassing, although it was certainly a, a moment to remember in political, you know, recent history, of course. Very hilarious. We'll never forget it. Jeb Bush is a great meme, by the way. But also, we also had Howard Schultz also having his own clap. I forgot what his quote was that he had said. But this article from The Hill says, Klobuchar urges CNN Town Hall audience. That's when you guys are supposed to cheer, okay? So The Hill actually has the video here. We are going to take a look at this. Here it is. I am someone uh, that runs in a purple state. Every single time I have run, I have won every single congressional district in my state, including Michelle Bachman's, okay? That's when you guys are supposed to cheer, okay? Oof. I am someone uh, that runs in a purple state. Every single time I have run, I have won every single congressional district in my state, including Michelle Bachman's, okay? It's when you guys are supposed to cheer, okay? <laughs> I wish I had shown a little bit more of the clip, but regardless, this is definitely, definitely uh, not too good look. But to talk about Amy Cloud I, uh she's obviously a terrible candidate. I really don't like Amy Cloud Bujar in terms of her actual policy positions. But I actually have a respect for Amy Cloud Bujar that you would probably not expect. So the reason why I say I actually have a certain respect for Cloud Wujar is in a Bernie Sanders-centric Democratic Party 2020 race, which is what it is right now, I felt like I did a pretty like good job of covering the Kamala Harris campaign, which is now fizzled out, by the way, you know, talking about all of the horrifying things that she's done, that I was truly taken aback by all the crazy things. So George Gage is in prison right now serving a 70-year sentence, even though he's innocent because of Kamala Harris. Uh, Daniel Larson was someone who was being kept in prison despite being innocent because of Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris refused, you know, uh, a transgender uh, surgery, uh, transitioning surgery for a transgender prisoner, and now she has the flag outside of her outside of her place. She was terrible on pot. She's just horrible, right? The reason why I have a, a respect for Amy Klobuchar is uh, she actually says what she believes. So. Kamala Harris is being Obama 2.0, right? Say a bunch of progressive stuff that you don't actually believe to win votes. That's what she's doing. Cloud Bujar, she she self-advertises a moderate. So while she's, uh, you know, a complete moderate, I only want you to tell me you support the things that I support if you really mean it. Don't lie to me. Don't deceive me. Don't BS me. Don't bogus me. Tell me the truth, Okay. Don't lie. I want you to tell the truth about your positions. So don't just pander and tell me that you believe something you don't really believe just for the sake of doing it to pander for votes. And so that's why I actually have a, a, a respect for Amy Klobuchar, uh, Amy Cloud Bujar, whatever you want to call her. But um, obviously she's terrible. She's a moderate and she sucks. But she has no chance of winning anything. So I really don't care, to be honest. I mean, her campaign is one that I just kind of laugh at. 